Hello friends. A couple of nights ago I went to my first baseball game, my first Mets game at City Field. Now as a kid I had gone to several Mets games at uh, Shea Stadium, but this was my first game at City Field and wow was I blown away by the enthusiasm of it. First of all, our glee club sang the Star Spangled Banner there and Coach Chris Lynch threw out the first pitch. It was an amazing, amazing vibe, lots of energy. And, and everybody is focused on the game. I mean, you have thousands of people there and I bet two thirds of them have some sort of Mets baseball jersey on. Probably half of them have a jersey on with the name DeGrom across the back. Uh, it brings together people of all races, all cultures, all ethnicities, all religions. Uh, at the uh, bottom, at the top of the ninth inning, they brought out Edwin Diaz and they had Timmy Trumpeter playing and people were dancing wildly and, and, and singing and it, the enthusiasm of the crowd, the focus of the crowd was amazing. And, and I was thinking about this, for all the differences, the ethnic differences, the racial differences, the religious differences there, people were brought together as one. I want to talk about something slightly different and then I hope to wrap the whole thing together. I have an adult friend of mine whose 20 something year old son is really into the Burning Man Festival, which will be happening, I think, this weekend. And um, uh, he's going to be going to Black Rock City, Nevada. And uh, I looked it up on, online. It's described as a, a culture of creativity, a cauldron of creativity, as a matter of fact, and a lifelong community, not just a single festival. And at the end of it, they have this big towering effigy of a man and they burn it alive and, and, and it draws forth all kinds of ecstasy from the participants there, from the thousands of people who go there. What are we to make of this and how do we relate that Burning Man Festival to the Mets game? And it's this, I think people have a desire for the transcendent. We all have this longing for the transcendent, for something that takes us out of our our own little world takes us beyond ourselves, beyond our ethnicity, beyond our race, beyond our small time concerns, and connects us with something larger. Deep down inside of us, we're all wired for the transcendent, that which goes beyond, something that connects us to something larger. And I wanna to suggest to you that we have as Catholics, and we can invite to all, even our non-Catholic friends, the greatest source of transcendence, and that is Jesus Christ. You know, St. Paul writes in one of his letters that in Christ there is neither Gentile nor Jew, woman or man, servant nor free. We're all brought together. We're all, in a sense, ontological brothers and sisters. And why is that? Because we're connected to something deeper, something greater, something bigger than ourselves. We're connected to the transcendent. And so as I sign off today, I want to remind you that we have in the Eucharist, in our faith, in Jesus Christ, the greatest source of transcendence. We can connect with the creator of the universe. We can connect with the source of all being itself. We can connect with what's most important in life, not only in this life, but in the life to come. So my friends, as you search for the transcendent, keep in mind that Jesus Christ is precisely what we are all searching for. Thanks for listening and God bless.